you can catch it by checking out that QR code there. There's a lot of talk about the Premier League every day and all the other top leagues as well. Transfer room is very interesting this week. As I was preparing the show, Yanish, I was actually surprised to see this one. Well, not surprised in the fact that given the way he's been playing of late, I can see why he would be causing attention. But still, Leroy Zane to Liverpool. That's one of the rumours. He's been identified as someone that Jurgen Klopp would like to bring in. There's no way Bayern are going to let this player go, are they? Yeah, I mean, look, as always with these rumours, I mean, it would make sense positionally, the way he's played. The, you know, it's familiar with the with the league, obviously. Uh, and if Mo Salah were to go in the, in the current form, uh, Leo Rizana would make sense. Yes, A, I don't know if he continues to play like that or even better. Uh, you know how Bayern Munich deal. I mean, they don't sell players. Uh, they don't have to. One of the few clubs that are not in the Premier League and maybe aside from Real Madrid, and PSG, they don't have to sell. They don't need the money. They have loads of money. So if a player like Leo Rizana continues to develop, I don't think it will happen. The bigger question almost is for Leo Rizana, would he want that to happen, right? Because he finally, finally found an environment where he's thriving. And that wasn't in the Premier League. Uh, that wasn't under Pep Guardiola. And maybe he was a little bit too young. Maybe he, he wasn't mature enough to deal with the demands of playing, not only for Manchester City and the expectations, but also the demands that Pep Guardiola gives you. Because that's that's not easy to deal with. We all think that he's a great manager, which he is. But obviously, we see from uh, uh, even bigger players than Leroy Le Zane uh, that he, he asked for absolute perfection and commitment to the cause and quite frankly maybe Leo Zane just wasn't mature enough to do that I went to Bayern Munich and has found a place where he's thriving so if if you are him even though it's always tempting to be and play for a manager like Jurgen Klopp and play for Liverpool I almost wonder if that would have been a good move for him personally when you finally find peace and when you're finally developing and 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 he seems happy to play football there. Yeah, he definitely, there's a feeling, I know, that this season mm. he's reaching the potential that he has. The Bayern director, Stefan Freund, has said that they're going to do everything they can to keep him. But obviously that could be scary for them, given that it is Jurgen Klopp, a manager that many players would like to work under. So we'll keep our eye on that one. But as I said, it was a surprise for me to see that. The next one is Jaden Sancho, because obviously we know there's been so much talk about this future of his. Rob Dawson is speaking extensively about this. You can catch what he's had to say here on our YouTube channel. Sancho is not looking like he's apologising anytime soon. And so it looks as though a move away could come in the transfer window. Problem is, is his wages are sky high. So in that sense, this is where we're looking at the issue. But Barcelona are said to be closely monitoring the situation. Well, you just mentioned wages. I mean, how much money he costs Manchester United? How much money would Barcelona have to spend? And they don't have the money uh, for, you know. And if you're going to have the money like this, you, if you're Barcelona, you better spend it on a player that you're absolutely sure is going to come in and make a difference immediately. And Jaden Sancho uh, hasn't done that in Manchester United, aside from whatever the issues may be, when before the issues that he had, he wasn't playing well. I mean, he was a massive, massive disappointment. So I failed to see why Barcelona and the financial situation that they are in right now, why would they choose to spend that kind of money on transfer and his wages to take a massive gamble like that? I, I just don't see it. I, I'd be shocked. It's not to say that like Leroy Zane, Jaden Sancho won't find an environment. We see that with Joao Felix. I mean, another player that, you know, at Chelsea, wh wherever he's gone, even an athlete under Simeone, yeah, we can say that that's not the right team to begin with. Uh, but Joe Felix ha has found a home and has found an environment. So it's always possible that Jadon Sancho could do that as well. But I think it's a too big of a risk to take. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens there if he's willing to take a pay cut as well. Where he will land, if he will apologise, if he does end up staying at United. It's definitely a tricky situation. And Janusz did just mention that situation with Joe Felix. There's more talk about him over on our Transfer Talk page. Make sure to check that out over on our website.